What was going on, guys? Well, as well. Another day, another day. I'm in a car, of course. And I'm telling you right now, I need to get my car fixed. I have no money to get it fixed. I wish I could get it fixed, but it's all good. You know. Um, I'm going to book a Jeremiah right now. We're going to start tomorrow. Chapter 26. And we're going to talk about Jeremiah. And of course, it's about Jeremiah the prophet warning his people of, you know, the destruction that's going to come. You know, if they don't like repent and turn away from their wicked ways. So, um, we're going to start from chapter 26. And I guess we can start from, uh, verse, hmm, this verse 3. Here, yeah, verse 3, it says, uh, if so be they will hearken and turn away man from his from his evil way, that I may repent me of the evil of the evil which I purpose to do unto them because of the evil of their doings. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord, if ye will hearken to me to walk in my law, which I have set before you, to hearken to the words of my sermons, the prophets in whom I sent unto you, both rising up early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened. Then I will make the house like Shiloh, and I will make this city a curse to all the nations of the earth. So, so the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of the Lord. Now it came to pass when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking all that the Lord had commanded him to speak unto the people, that the priests and the prophets and all the people took him and saying, Thou shalt surely die. See how they saying he shall surely die. He's, he's just repeating what was told him of the Father. Then it says, Why has thou prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This shall this house shall be be like Shiloh, and the city shall be that be desolate without inhabitant. And all the people were gathered against Jeremiah in the house of this, of the Lord. So uh and now this passage on this page about Jeremiah's death demanded. So now the demanding in the death of Jeremiah when he's telling the people what the Lord has spoken to him, because the Lord Almighty, he, 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 you got, you got to listen to the Father, you know, which he was going to overrule the Lord's uh, commandments. So, um, back to on the first page, it says, if they so will hearken. So God wants, so that would then say, he wants us to hearken to, um, the words of the prophets, of the preachers. And as, uh, it's, it's obvious that this world is not listening, you know. You can see the things that's going on. People still, uh, still doing the same thing every day. You know, they 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 really sunk into their daily sinful life and haven't turned away from it. And uh, it seems like the, the preachers and the prophets are wasting their energy, but they're really not. You know, they still they still doing God's work. You know, some are gonna some are some are gonna um take heed. You have some that's not gonna take heed. And you'll see the difference between the people who are uh, who are obedient and take heed of the words of the prophets and the preachers versus the ones who want to rebel and who want to even take out the people who are spreading up the uh, gospel for the benefit of people. So, um, over and all, it is what it is. It's a sacrifice in itself to uh, live for God because um, He sacrificed for you and me. So, um. You know, the same people that uh they they try to warn people, the world wanna diminish them and destroy them. And it even says that in this right here it says uh it says, Thus said the Lord, stand in the court of the Lord's house and speak unto all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house, all the words that I command thee to speak unto them. Diminish not a word. So he doesn't even want us to diminish not a word, not take from it, not add to it. Uh and uh Diminished people are going to be diminished because of of, a, of rebellion and disobedience, and they want to choose to be wicked. And um, so it's right here. It says, "Then will I make this house like Shiloh, and I'll make the city a curse to all the nations of the earth." So of course, the war, the wars, the rumors, the uh, ruler Canaan's going against Canaan. That's a curse in itself. So God is uh, cursed, cursed this land. Every nation is going through it. Every every nation is going through some type of event, something catastrophic, and that's the result of us being uh, rebellious and uh, sinful and wicked and being disobedient. So um, 
That's what it boils down to. And these same people that he, you know, prophesied to, they want to destroy him when he's simply being obedient. It says, Why hast thou prophesied in the name of the Lord, saying, This house, she like Shiloh, and the city shall be desolate without inhabitant, and all the people are gathered against Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. So, um, with that being said, when you pick up your cross with God, with Jesus Christ, you're going to be ridiculed, you're going to be mocked, you're going to be slandered, people are going to hate your guts, people are going to want to kill you for some reason, uh, you know, speaking the word in the gospel. It's just, you got to do it. Don't be, don't be discouraged. You mean, you might, you might get, uh, worried, you know, because of the world, the world wants to, um, you know, discourage you, make it wear you out. You know, that, um, the devil, Satan, he wants to, he'll start, he'll target you. <laughs> he'll target him once, uh, you know, you, you're, you're a vessel, you're an instrument. You know what? It's all good. You pick up your Bible and, and take dominion and rule because God, he's given us dominion over this world. And, uh, if, if, if it's more of us, if we start sticking together, we'll do way better. But this all is true. Greater is God in us than them that's in the world. No matter how many of them try to gang up on you for speaking the word, they shall stumble and fall. Even when your enemies and foes surround you, they shall stumble and fall. And, uh, it's written. Be overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives to the, to, to the day of death. And... These people here can have the riches of the world. We won't get the riches of heaven. You can't you can't defeat that at all. At all. So um so due to our rebellion and you know uh wickedness, these cities are gonna become desolate. No man on earth can stop it. Because you know, um you can't stop spirits. You can't stop what God wants to go through. So he'll allow spiritual things to happen. No power, no man with physical power can stop that. No, no man would operate when dark forces can stop it as well. God is going to allow what he allows, and God is going to stop what he stops. He knows the beginning and the end of everything. But as far as you and me, we got to pick up our cross and do our work, do our, um, and, you know, make sure we uh, do what we do. So, um, because you don't want to, you don't want to uh, get left behind. You definitely don't want to um, be, be caught up with everybody else in that madness. So, you know, of course, you got people who accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior, but never did anything, never contributed to speaking the word, to trying to get someone saved. But they want to they wanna do what they want to do. They just want to be selfish and do what they want to do in this life. You got to live your life in order. You got to be obedient. Really. Uh, so, yeah. In, in these days, you got to have eyes to see, ears to hear. No hard to understand, and people uh, got um God has cursed people with a um darkened eyes, and He's cursed a lot of people with um what with, with uh blind blindness, and uh, it's up for you and me to, you know, get to these people. That's a result of people's lifestyle and the things that they, that they have committed, that they've been blinded, you know, they don't understand. They don't have ears to hear when the truth is even speak, being spoken to them. So even though I'm speaking the truth right now, there's some people that's going to re watch this video and, you know, probably insult me and tell me, who is this prick? He's nonsense. I don't want to hear it. Whatever he's talking about is foolishness. So that's what I mean. It's people that's cursed with, you know, with deafness and blindness. They don't have ears to hear, nor do they have a heart to understand. But, um, it says, uh, it says right here, it says, um, it says, um, verse 10, when the princesses of Judah heard these things, when they came up from the king's house unto the house of the Lord and sat there in the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house. Boom. So they coming together. They, they were like, we, we got to get rid of this man. They want to destroy him like he's the one that's pressing the button to the destruction button. Like he got the button to the destruction. So <laughs> it says, then speak the priests and the prophets unto the princess and to all the people. Saying, this man is worthy to die, for he has prophesied out against the city, as ye have heard with your ears. Then spake Jeremiah unto all the princes and to all the people, saying, The Lord sent me to prophesy against his house and against the city all the words that ye have heard. So like I'm just like I'm saying, I'm repeating what you know what will happen. If we don't shine away from our ways, this world will become dusted. And only people that's gonna be saved is God's children. God is gonna preserve. It's a scripture in uh, Psalms 121, 
forgot what the verse, but it says, uh, the sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you going in, and he shall preserve you going out. So you want to be preserved in these times, especially now. You got high level wickedness going on, high level spiritual wickedness. And and, and the Satan is operating through people, any and anything. You know, he got he's using the media, he's using the the news, he's using the rap music industry, he's using uh just regular people out and about he's using family members. He's that uh, he's going all out. Because, you know, his, his time on here is short. So he's here with a great wrath. And uh, <clears throat> you want to just go through you Listen, um, and for people who is, who is coming to God that watch the video, pick up your cross and just know it's not easy. You're going to be tested. Past things you can ever think of because, you know, it's, it's just know you're going to um, be tested. And the main thing you want to do is stay focused no matter if, even if you, see danger in front of you no matter if you hear danger around you stay focused on god because when you got to because when you have a covenant with god he will protect you and that's the main thing you need to get in your mind that when you have a covenant with god once you're saved you will be preserved it doesn't matter if you hear people hear people in your apartment building uh yelling out you like you're gonna die it doesn't matter. You're protected. That's the enemy trying to put fear in you. The only way he can really get to you is when you allow fear to absorb you. So you must rebuke that. You must rebuke those evil projections that he uses from people to make you think you are going to, you know, whatever the enemy is you're saying. Don't agree. Don't agree with whatever the enemy is trying to put in your mind, in your spirit. You rebuke it. You refute it. And you declare the creed. You, you're strong. You can. You, you're preserved. You are preserved. You, you're going out as preserved. You declare the creed. You're going out as preserved, and you're coming in as, as preserved. You declare the creed that you, the sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. And uh, it's another scripture, Psalm 91. It so uh, I said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Speak these things to yourself. You speak these scriptures before you go out the door. So you 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 programming your day with these scriptures, and uh, it's another another one. After that scripture, after that scripture, it's um, the Lord shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, and from the noise and pestilence. And uh, it's a uh, it's another one that says, "The Lord is my my refuge and my portion, in God will I trust." So even when the enemy is trying to uh, threaten you, in that, for example, say you uh. You know, don't you know, you ever seen people that uh, go out and feed the homeless and then they get in trouble? Like the police even try to get people in trouble. They, they try to threaten you and you're doing a good deed. Same thing. The enemy will try to, you know, put fear in you. He'll try to use people with authority to put fear in you to make you, you know, not walk the straight and narrow, to make you not spread, you know, to put fear in you so you won't stop, um, so you'll stop spreading the word. So... Just like um, you may be going through something, I got my battles as well. And, um, you know, <clears throat> I got people that's trying to prepare me now every day. These people are used by the devil. And they, they sold us at this point. And, uh, and some of them just got a curse, the bewitchment. You can be bewitched by, you know, people who, who deal with spells and things like that. So uh, <clears throat> it's just do with them. You got to learn. Cause if you if you if it, it, through ignorance is when you fall, so we gotta just fill ourselves with wisdom as much as possible. So make sure you always um pray, and the main and the main weapon to 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 shake the that uh the the cane of darkness is worship. So if you can sing, make, sing to God, worship Him, and even if you can't sing, still sing to God. He still appreciates it. So um yeah, so like I got um there wasn't. This video only 14 minutes long. I don't have long, but uh, hope uh, hope you got it. Hope you guys see where I'm coming from. So um, so yeah, it even says right here, yoked and bonded. Next, so for since uh Jeremiah said all that, uh, they put him in bondage. They put him in, you know, they locked him up. Things like that. So just like how how when you when when you speak in a word. The enemy is going to try to put 
you in bondage spiritually, you know, through attacks, through afflictions through your body. So that's why you got to pray. You got to rebuke whatever the enemy, the enemy will try to speak sickness into your body. Sickness, defeat, death, uh, untimely death, uh, fear, anxiety. So you must bind everything that I say, every word, sickness, whatever the word is, whatever the, the emotion is, you rebuke it, you reject it in the name of Jesus. And you roll, you override it with something good. And make sure you, you use the scriptures. Whatever um, uh, emotion or projection you feel that the enemy is trying to put on you, you override it with the word. Because the enemy, is, he's, he's relentless. The, the devil is like uh, a warring lion, walking around like a warring lion, seeking who he may devour. So, and he's walking to and from the earth, looking for it, looking for someone to devour. So, um, stay strong. Don't, don't allow, he, he's powerless. He can't do nothing outside of what God allows him to do. And God only uses him to get us in the right on the right path. God doesn't want him to destroy you. He'll only use him to to get you on a straight and narrow. So when people backslide and fall and go in, you know, into the wrong, uh, they get weak and they go back into sex. And he'll allow certain things to happen. So he'll allow you to get get sick, uh, infirmity, anything. Uh, so just allow, just just know whatever you're going through. He, he he may be just using that to get you on the right track. Now it's another it's another on another aspect. Sometimes the, the, and Satan he's attacking because of the lack of uh, knowledge or wisdom, and you might not know why how to stop it. So of course you got generational curses. You have found uh, evil foundations. You have evil uh, family patterns. You have uh, what else? You have legal access. Through sins and thoughts and word, words you said as your mouth, illegal access. That means uh, that's a bizarre or whatever you did. You gave you saying illegal access to torment you, to, to harass you. So, um, I still have my battles to this day, and I'm just you know I'm enduring, you know. And God understands what we don't know and what we do know. He knows you and me. We know He knows we He knows our strengths. We all have different strengths. And, uh, so you got to rely on the Holy Spirit at all times, every day, to, to uh, you know, make sure you can get through whatever you're going through. And there's going to be days where you feel like you're just crawling. Some of these days where you feel like you can't get up out, the, out of the bed. You, you just want to give up in life. But don't give up. Don't give up in life. It's, 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 it's just like being in a box room. You go, it's blood, sweat, and tears. Imagine the slaves in the... Um, the slaves in the, uh, back back then in chains. Imagine what they've been through. So just like that, God was with those people. You had to be strong. You had to rely on Jesus to get through that. That's why you know what I mean? He had to be, well, it's black people. That's why we're here. But it's still slavery. It's still slavery, and it's spiritual slavery as well. And it, it doesn't matter the color. You got white people that's in slavery. In the mind, spiritually as well, Mexican, Latino. So this isn't, this isn't a, a, I'm better than you thing. It's about humanity, humanity as the earth, as the world. And uh, no one is exempt from perishing at the end of, you know, at the end, whatever, whenever you, like, whenever you leave the earth, whether you, uh, you make, whether the Lord preserves you to destruction to the end. Of, you know, preserve, see, look, God preserves wicked men to the end to be, to, to be destroyed. And Satan wants to destroy you. God's children now. He don't. He doesn't. He wants to destroy you and me now. So that's why you must pray, worship, stay strong. Don't let fear, um, you know, exact upon you. And just know it's power in your prayers. It's power in your worship. And it's power in the scriptures. Um, see, like right here. Um, let me see. Mm. So it says, look, I have made the earth. And man that and, and the beasts that are upon the ground by my great power, but my outstretched arm, I have given it unto him, and I have given it unto whom it seemed meet unto me. And now I have given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and the, and the beasts of the field, I have given him also the servant. And all nations shall serve him, and his son, and his son's son, until the very time of his land come. And then many nations and great kings shall serve themselves of him. So he allowed Nebuchadnezzar to rule 
over these people because, you know, the lack of uh, obedience as well. So he allows wicked people to become ruler as well because, you know, the lack of obedience and people being wicked and uh, going against God. So you got people going against God and you got us that, that, that's up against the devil. So good, it's good versus evil. So um, Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit come into your life. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's the best thing you can do in this life. So you don't become a puppet for the enemy to use you to, um, you know, add to destruction. You know, because you, 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 you got to pay for it. <clears throat> no, no, no deed goes unpunished. No bad deed goes unpunished. <clears throat> so we all going to have to go on time off for anything we did. But, but as far as him like, destroying us, we're 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 gonna we're gonna get through. You're gonna get through. If you if you have a covenant with God, you're gonna get through. You're protected. You're preserved. You might go through some, through some pain here and there, but you'll get through it. You will get through it. Allow it to build character. Allow it to um, you know, cleanse you. You know, you know, through fire, you become purified. So through the fire, you will become purified. You got God has to try you by the fire. He has to try you. Like Shadrach, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. You know, that the wicked king threw, him, threw them in a the fire and he made it seven times hot. You know, he wanted them to, he, he wanted to, them to bow down, you know, to conform to the world. So when you conform to the world, you, you basically worship the Satan. So you and me, we don't, we don't, we're not bowing down. We're not bowing down. No, no matter what, what we see, no matter what the enemy's trying to put, uh, project into your mind or in your body, your soul and spirit, we stand firm in the Lord. You know, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We love not allowed until the day that we die. And even though you walk through the shadows of the valley of death, you shall fear no evil, for God is your rod and your staff, and he comforts you. Just know, any any enemy that backs, back, backstabs you, any, anybody trying to, um, you know, slander you, don't take it upon yourself to get in revenge. Don't content evil with evil. God said, don't content evil with evil, but overcome evil with good. So, you know, when you do that, you, it's like putting hot coals of fire on, on your enemy's head. So, you know, God will even use the same person that put you down, try to destroy you. That's, he'll have them come back around, crying in tears, asking for you to help. Just help them with something. So, that's that's how it goes. And uh, that's just how it goes. So, don't content evil with evil. You know, be righteous. Have repentance. Always, um, if you want God to forgive you for what you did, Make sure you forgive others for what you what they do to you, because um, you just just like you want God to forgive you for the things you did, so you can um be scot free from, you know, going to do certain things. Forgive other people. Don't hold them in your heart. Don't allow them to have your heart. heart. Don't allow what people do to you to make your heart your heart be hardened, because that's another way for the enemy to to stop from blessings from flowing into your life. <coughs> so yeah. So like I got today, um, dang, I thought I was been going to stop, but, you know, I always feel like I got something else to say. But yeah, God bless you guys. Stay strong. Uh, you are blessed. You, you, you are, you, God is a danger for greatness. God is a danger for, 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 to deliver people. God has delivered you to, to heal. God is the, uh, God is a danger to be a voice. God is a danger to be an instrument and speak that over yourself. Decree and declare that over yourself. That you are ordained for greatness. You are ordained for God's purposes. You will you will make you will you will you will succeed in the land of the living. And just speak that over yourself. You know, this this life is words. Words have power. And every day you live in this life, make sure you speak life each and every day. So God bless y'all.